Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome to Civilization 6. Now a couple of weeks back, 2K very kindly invited me to an event in London and I had a chance to go hands-on with a build of the game for a good three hours. This gave me enough time to firstly learn how to play and then begin building my empire, make some neighboring allies, piss off some important leaders, go to war and come out the other side victorious. So in this video, I thought I'd give you a quick intro to the game speak about some of the new features this time around, and then share some of my experiences from my time playing. So if you do enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated and be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know if you're hyped for this game. Now to begin with, I do just want to set the record straight. I am new to the Civilization series. In fact, this hands-on session is the first time I've ever played a Civilization game. I'm no stranger to strategy games, but truth be told, my experience typically lies more in real-time strategy as opposed to turn-based. However, with that being said, Civilization is a series that interests me, and with this one coming out later this year, I figured now is as good a time as any to jump in. It also puts me in a really good position to talk about this entry, because if any of you guys out there similarly haven't played the game before and are perhaps looking for a way in, then my personal experience should translate pretty nicely for you. And for the veteran players out there, while you will quite obviously have much more experience with the series than I do, in this video I will be showing gameplay from my time with the game, and that'll also show off some of the new systems this time around, so hopefully there'll be something for you too. What's more, I had quite possibly the best Civilization 101 crash course. Dennis Shuck, who is the game's senior producer, was actually at the event and he sat with me, explained everything I needed to know and guided me along my journey, so I was able to get up to speed pretty quickly. Now, just before I start talking about the new features, to give you some context, in the gameplay you're seeing in the background, I opted to play as the Japanese leader, Hojo Tokimune. With this choice, all of my districts receive an additional standard adjacency bonus for being adjacent to another district, so it pays to build close together. And my land units also gain combat strength when they are in land tiles adjacent to the coast, and naval units gain combat strength in shallow water tiles. Plus, I'm able to build encampments, holy sites, this districts in half the time, and there are a few other points too, but I'm going to avoid specifics for the time being because this is a development build of the game, and any specific values or information pertaining to specific units, structures, etc. could well change at launch. However, for those of you guys familiar with the series, then that should at least give you some basis for what you're seeing in the background. It's also worth mentioning that I had a pretty rotten spawn to begin with, so I spent a good portion of the beginning of the game trying to fend off barbarians and trying to sort of like reclaim control. But then, trial by fire and whatnot, that was a great intro for someone that is new to the series. <laughs> anyway, let's now take a step back and talk more broadly about Civilization VI. Civilization, for anyone that's new, is a turn-based strategy game where you compete alongside player and AI-controlled opponents as they work to grow their civilizations from what is effectively a small starting tribe or village into the ultimate goal, which is a vast connection of advanced cities and districts spanning the globe and ultimately leading to your civilization's victory. And Civilization VI builds on that as it offers new ways to engage with the world. Cities now physically expand across the map. Active research in technology and culture unlocks new potential. And competing leaders will now pursue their own agendas based on their historical traits. Which is a super interesting concept because even early in the game, if you know the agenda of your neighboring civilizations, you can actually get an idea of how to either respect them and keep them happy, or ultimately piss them off. For example, one of my early encounters in my gameplay was with the Brazilian leader Pedro II, and if memory serves me correctly, he was basically happy provided that I didn't have more rare materials than he did, such as diamonds for example. So while we started off as friends, as I started to expand and mine more things, he decided that he didn't really like me and it wasn't long before we were at war. And all of the leaders have these traits, so it's important to understand them if you want to try and keep people happy. Also when it comes to victory, you don't just have to win by wiping people out. You can win through religion, technology, being the first to win the space race, etc. There are actually five different victory conditions in Civilization VI. And as you progress in the game, you can expand your cities, which span multiple tiles, and you're able to set up interconnecting districts as you expand. These different districts can all build differently, so you can then really make the most of your environment and build structures that benefit from your surroundings, because different structures work better in different areas. You can also unlock boosts through active research to speed up your progression through history, and when it comes to combat, another new feature in this game is the notion of combined arms. The previous one unit per tile design now supports embedded units, so you can form things like anti-tank support with infantry, warriors with settlers, or like I did during the late game, samurais with big wall breaching contraptions. Now that is a very basic, bare bones kind of description of some of the new stuff coming to Civilization VI. There are of course so many more things, so many systems that truth be told, I still need to try and get my head around. And of course, I haven't even begun to start diving deep on things like civics, wonders, religion, loads of other things like that. And as I'm sure you can see from the gameplay, 
It's one of these games that's gonna take quite a lot of time to get into. It's really, really good, and I could probably spend hours just kind of talking about what I was doing. But for the time being, I wanna wrap up this video by focusing on just how much fun I had playing this game. Now, bear in mind, as someone that had never played before, I was quite frankly overwhelmed by the vast array of options right from the beginning of the game. And also, because this was a development build, there wasn't actually a tutorial. So I sat down and I was like, hmm. What do I do? But with some guidance and of course, you know, reading things as you go along, it wasn't long before I quickly began to grasp the core concepts and from then on I was pretty much good to go on my own. And it's really, really addictive. So if you guys are new to the series, again, if you're a fan of Civilization, then this is going to be an instant win for you. But if you're new to the series, then this is one of those games where you don't sit down and play it for 10 minutes, let's put it that way. But if you do have some time to sit down and plot together like an epic, epic battle, then there is just so much stuff to do. What I really liked about my time playing the game were firstly the mind games that you kind of play with these other factions trying to work out how to be everyone's friend while secretly plotting to stab everyone in the back. Plus seeing all of your interconnected districts evolve to the point where you have an army capable of storming much larger cities and all of this in a world which feels very alive despite being a turn-based game. It's quite easy for you know, turn-based games to you know be fun but often feel quite stale at times but with everything going on around the map and all the underlying systems it's just genuinely a living breathing world that's just super fun to be in so it's safe to say that after my short time playing and my first taste of victory i will definitely be picking this up when it launches later this year by the way when i say victory i don't mean i won the game because i wasn't able to go that far i mean i beat brazil so he tried to go to war with me he started the fight i ended it so yeah that's that's my clarification but yeah, I genuinely can't wait to pick this one up, start working down some of the different victory paths. I'm especially keen on going down the tech tree to try to sort of win that space race. But for the time being, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys are civ veterans, then of course you know that I have a lot of stuff to say. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out. Also, while you're here, don't forget that I upload daily gaming videos. So if you guys do want to catch the latest, then make sure you check back regularly.